You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to be on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today, and coming back at another Let's Play episode of Fatal Force. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go! Alright. <clears throat> Where Nary and Dravi are hugging, but something happens without Nary noticing. We return, as t we return to Nary's perspective. Draviar, feeling better now? Draviar was still silent and did not answer. D Draviar? Did Dra- <gasps> Oh! I panicked because Draviar still does not answer. I even tried to shake the wolf's body, but he does not even show any reaction. Everything in my head fills with negativity and my body starts to shake with tears. D Draviar, no! Please wake up! Can I stop myself? I hug Draviar tightly and cry incessantly. The two wolves entered the room and looked shocked at the situation. What happened here? Hey, Nary! The white wolf panics and his body seems to be full of blood. Is he injured? Hang on, buddy. Nary, I need you to listen to me carefully. But Mickey, Zero, Draviar's not awake! I know, because soon I... Because as soon as I entered this room, I start to notice something. Zero claimed something was wrong with Draviar. Wait, what? I did not sense anything here. That's because you have no experience in encountering him. Him? Who? Zero, what do you mean? Zero creates confusion. Even Mickey, who was always close to Draviar, did not know. Let us say Draviar is still fine, but someone is interrupting his soul. Draviar's soul interrupted? A, a demon? My mind still cannot avoid thinking of supernatural things. It even creates more panic. At the same time, Zero shows his annoyed face. Maybe I was wrong about the demon. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Why are so many supernatural beings appearing lately? One after another? A wendigo? A witch? And now a demon? Actually, it's not a demon, dummy. It is It's an. It's another soul. Another soul? A bound soul connected to Draviar by blood. I heard that there was a spell that can bind another soul to protect it. One of, one of, a, pro, uh, one of a prohibiting spell. I looked at Mickey, who did not seem shocked at all. Oh well, those wolves always play with magical things, and this time it involves a soul. To be honest, I'm, it's pretty creepy to me. <sighs> Forbidden spells? Who could do something like that to Draviar? I might know who did it, but I still wonder why it's suddenly triggered now. Regardless of the situation we have experienced so far, this spell is not easy to break. Since it has to do with his relative, Zero explained. I remember that Draviar is an orphan, and how can it be related to his relative? Unless it's with someone you've never met. Wait a m wait, what? A relative of Draviar's? I thought he was an orphan and had no family. Yeah, Mickey had the same thought I did, but I already figured out who who with. I think I know. Nary, who? His father, right? But if I remember correctly, Draviar told me that he was not sure if his father was still alive or not. True. But there is something you did not know about Draviar's father. And that would be... Draviar's father, Daruga, had a twin brother. Salazar. I'm shocked, and Mickey shows, shows slight disbelief at that statement. Salazar? Hold up. How do you know all this? I thought you and Draviar had never met. It's funny, because I'm playing the Resident Evil 4 remake right now. Technically, Zero knew about Draviar's background. I remember both of us seeing Draviar's memories with his mother. Zero also mentioned meeting Draviar's father. True, but after seeing his memories, I thank Nari for that. Figured all that figured all that out, and now it all makes sense to me. Besides, yeah. I've met but I've met both of them in my past. But I really do not like remembering them. Why? Well, let us just say I did something terrible, but that's not the point we need right now. Seriously? The main thing is that it's about that red wolf. Zero seems to be trying to avoid telling his past by changing the subject. Salazar, huh? I is he a bad guy? Why did he do that to Draviar? Actually, not quite. Salazar is a wolf who always protects what he loves most. Especially his own twin brother. I'm having a hard time believing, believing what I've heard about these wolves. I, I still don't get it. He, he's too, is a kind of wolf who protects someone who loves him? Second, y'all. Water time. <clears throat> Why did he do that to Draviar? Why? I raise my voice, but the wolves do not seem to respond. Calm down, Nary. Jeez, you really need to do something about your bad temper before you lose your mind and do something stupid. He scoffs and slowly sits down in front of me. Like I said, he always did something when it involved someone he loved. And I did not say Salazar was a bad wolf. I'm just saying that he did something before he died. Remember I remember what I told you. Draviar had a guardian. Wait, is that guy dead yet? As usual, Mickey let out a loud cry of disbelief. Well, since I knew that kind of spell, so yes. 
He's probably already dead. That spell is called the Crimson the Crimson's Law. Zuru stated about the magic stuff. The Crimson's Law? Is he a lawyer or something? <laughs> rules. He has to follow the rules. Correct, Neri. Well, technically he does, but I am quite but I am not quite sure I should say. Even my own power has its limits, and this spell is out of my league. Zero flips his ears, and he seems he seems to feel upset about it. So, so uh, we're just gonna let Draviar like leave Draviar like this? Do not tell me he's going to. No, there must be a way to wake him up. Like a true love's kiss. Wait, what? Oh my God, I'm not ready for this. Mickey was acting weird, and he was blushing. What the heck? This is what happens when you keep reading fairy tales. Of course not. Good lord, Aluna. Zero scoffed. Yes, there is another way, but I must remind you that everything has a price. And stop relating with money. A price associated with you, such as something valuable, or perhaps your body part, or your soul, or your time. But it has but it has to have real meaning to you. That's the price you have to pay, so to speak. It's starting to feel like black magic, or something I have to use to use my own flesh for. Sacrifice. I have to sacrifice myself with something I care about. Oi, Neri, I hope you know what you're doing. I know, but it's the only way to, re to awaken Draviar. I've decided that it's my fault to begin with. It's my fault Draviar turned out this way. I hate to admit it, but Mickey's right. Are you really sure you know what you're doing, Neri? What do you mean? Because you keep holding that thing in your hand. What is it? Oh, that, well, some kind of sign that Draviar gave me. Zero points his finger at the thing I am holding. A piece of the Black Knight chess. Wait a minute. I didn't remember when I picked it up. Since when am I holding it? What's going on here? Weird. Hello, Neri, are you still there? Jeez. I uh, promise. Once this is all cleared up, we we both can have a, re a rematch in chess. Something is wrong here. What? When did you guys play it? Yeah, the night after the attack, you had Zero with you and asked Draviar to race you. After that, Draviar, Draviar invited me to play with him. Mickey shows an annoyed expression. He seemed... Uh, Jealous? If you think you're going to sacrifice that thing for that, it will be useless. It may only be able to move move its finger. I think you misunderstood, and let me clarify. The stronger the spell, the greater the sacrifice. But I see that you only want to sacrifice the promise between you and Draviar. Zero sighed and explained what it was about with a serious tone. Life. Life must be exchanged with a life, which means... I have to die. Both of them were shocked when they heard what I had said. Neri, don't do this! There must be another way. Of course there's another way, you dwerp. You dwep. You dwep. I did not say Draviar was dead. I am just saying that his soul is caught between life and death. I am just saying that... I am just saying that... That what you just saw here is not dead. It's just his soul that's nowhere because of the Crimson Law spell. It just... If you're willing to do it, Neri. For Draviar? Of course I'm willing to do something for him. I, I just need to know how. D doing what? C can you explain to me what I need to do? Everything depends on you, Neri. Only you know what you should sacrifice for him. The only thing I can do for you is to lead you to him. The rest is up to you, Neri. Zero declared, and Mickey began to sit down next to Zero. I, I still don't know what I should do for him. That really confuses me, Zero. Wait. I think I know now. You do? Yeah. Let us do it, Zero. Very well, then. You must hold Draviar's hand now. One second, y'all. Water time. Hopefully there's a lot more content to get through. Like, we've been waiting a while on this update. Okay. I slowly grab Draviar's huge hand. It feels strange since I always imagine holding paws. His hand feels so warm. Close your eyes and repeat everything I am going to tell you. I follow Zero's instructions, slowly close my eyes. Okay. I'm not... I nodded. Let's begin. Let's begin. Not yet, Nary. Not yet. Not yet, Neri. Stop repeating what I've now said. Stop repeating what I've now said. Stop! Stop! Pfft. Doesn't seem to be working, Zero. He's gonna smack you. I start to open my eyes and see Zero's annoyed face. Oh yeah, since you keep repeating what I said even though it hasn't even started yet. The wolf scoffs. But you said I had to repeat everything you said after I closed my eyes. Fair. <laughs> the white wolf chortled. Change of plans. You repeat what I said this time after I said, let's begin. Let's start over. Okay. Again, I slowly close my hand and, and hold Draviar's hand. Remember, Neri, there's no going back after this. Let's begin. By spirit of the wolves. By spirit of the wolves. Wonders the guild land. 
Wonders the Guild Land. Stalks in Silent Shadow. Stalks in Silent Shadow. Who runs and leads? Who runs and leads? Between the moss-covered trees. Between the moss-covered trees. Lend the primal strength. Lend the primal strength. The wisdom of the glowing eyes. The wisdom of the glowing eyes. Stands in defense of those lo- of those of those lo- of, of the those of those he loves. Okay, stands in defense of those he loves. All right, now we'll witness in another's place. I can say that this time you'll be Draviar's perspective in the world between life and death. Where am I? Why is it so dark here? Am I dead? I feel so strange. But after hugging myself with Nary, it feels like my burden has been lifted off me, and now I'm already confused about the state I'm in. Now, hold on a second. What am I wearing? I don't remember wearing this shirt and smell. It's so familiar. I'm not sure whether or what this smell is, but I think I know. Hmm. Why are you still sniffing around like a useless dog, Draviar? Huh? I heard a man's voice in that dark place. Who's that? There's no way I can recognize that voice. Who's there? I raised, I raised my voice and ready for anything that could happen, especially in such a dark place. Wait. Dark place? This is a dark place. How can I see what I'm wearing? Shit. Am I under a spell already? You seem confused, Draviar. Well, my bad, then. I forgot to take off your blindfold. Wait, a blindfold? Strange. How can I wear a blindfold when I can see myself? Hidden spell. You finally realize, Draviar. I need to calm down and make sure I don't give away my fear of this situation. As far as I know, only me and Zero are capable of casting this kind of spell. Unless the person who hexed me is definitely not a stranger. A beast man from the land of wolves. Who the hell are you? Reveal yourself! Aggressive, huh? Compared to your father, he's much gentler than you. Wait, what? My father? I'm confused, because this person seems to know something about my father that I've never seen in my entire life. I knew a little bit about my father through my mother's stories. I started to get nervous and scared. Yes, your father, Daruga. The feeling if we keep talking like this, it won't end well, don't you think? The person chuckled and somehow agreed with his statement. Then why don't you take away the spell and we can talk properly? So, you know, water time. Clap. Howls upon the moon of Aluna, hear my prayer. Moon of Aluna? Secret technique, art of the wolves. Zavolona. Zavolano. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's so new to me, because I never thought the Zalovanu spell could reveal anything. The hidden... ing the hidden spell without touching anything. In fact, the person that's casting it must be a professional one. Especially someone who's actually as identical as me can cast it. Oh. A wolf with scarlet fur wearing armor like that in the Middle Ages. You're Salazar! Impressive. Apparently your mother did you did tell you about me. That's impossible! Impossible. My mother told me that you died a long time ago, I said, curious as to what happened and, and what I was now seeing. The red wolf was sitting on the stone chair, staring at me strangely. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. But it seems that the spell is working. Spell? I did something to your mother before my last breath. Oh, that's a... Unfortunate sentence. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Danger, danger alert. You might have still been in your mother's womb then, and your father gave me something that you should... Gave me something that you should have, but it's not here and not now. My father? Wait, this is too much for me to accept. I never knew my father, and you... Here? I don't blame you, because your father sacrificed himself for your mother's safety. She managed to escape that place, and now look at you. Your face almost looks almost like your father's, and yet it's different. Salazar explained to me that my mother tried to escape from this place, which of course I know exists. The land of the wolves. Even though I researched about this place before, I ended up finding nothing. There are no records. There's no record of this place, and it seems like the information about this place has been erased for some reason. So you're his twin brother. That means you're my uncle. Hmm. Seems you've been taught well and too much involved with these humans. From what I can tell, you're not our kind. You're not our kind, but you're not theirs either. Hybrid. But I still don't understand why you dragged me to this place. Speaking of this place, where am I? As I looked around, because it's definitely not the place I know. 
The part I don't understand. The sky is pitch black and full of light from the stars, just like the brilliant light of the sky. Very well, since you asked. Welcome to the realm of death, Draviar. What the hell? I I'm dead already, but how? When I remember, I was hugging Nary, and then I suddenly, I was here. That's not possible. Sorry to disappoint you, but you're clearly still alive. Your soul is trapped here between life and death, thanks to the Crimson's Law spell. Crimson's Law? I've never heard of that spell. I said, star starting to think about the unspoken spell. Of course, you've never heard of it, because it's from the Book of Forbidden Spells. Luckily, your father has already destroyed the book, and I'm not sure if there's a copy of it left. Unless... Your mother rewrote everything she read. But even if I found the book for my mother, I still can't figure out what the magic is. Salazar is shocked after hearing my statement. So, she's keeping her promise, then. Promise? Yes, a promise. She read the book and can remember everything from the first page to the end. I thought she was a dangerous human back then, but your father protected her like this angel. Until she made a promise not to rewrite it. My mother only taught me a simple spell to protect me. A simple one, huh? No wonder your fighting style is still blunt. Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and... Pause it right there, hopefully there's more content to get through. I really hope there is, because this is so good. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye